Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a couple of devotionals with all of you. The first one is titled The Royal Line, and these were both posted January 3rd, 2020. An amazing fact. The Queen of England owns all the whales, dolphins, and sturgeons for three miles off the coast of the United Kingdom. This has been the case for British royalty since the statute of 1324 was issued during the reign of King Edward II. The royal family's reign spans 37 generations and 1,209 years. All of the monarchs are descendants of King Alfred the Great, who reigned in 871. Their history includes everything from knights in shining armor and beheadings to Queen Elizabeth II and her current total of nine thrones, one at the House of Lords, two in Westminster Abbey, and six in Buckingham Palace's throne room. Many are intrigued by royalty. In fact, many roused early to watch the wedding between Prince William and his princess. In light of the line of this regal family, think about this. Your king has existed forever, not just some 1,200 years. God's throne is in the throne room of all throne rooms. He owns the whole world. He made the whole world. He has chosen you and trusts you to be his light in the world, his ambassador. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 20 Because of Jesus, you are important. Your name is written in heaven. Luke 10 verse 20 You are his friend. John 15 verse 14 You are clean through the word that Jesus has spoken to you. John 15, verse 3 Jesus gave himself for you to impart his perfect life to you. What's more, he would have given himself just for you. When you give your heart and life to him, you become a part of his lineage. What will you do with this inestimable value he has placed on you. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham, Matthew 1 verse 1, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ, Matthew 1 verse 16, and he shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. Matthew 1, verse 21. And that is the end of that devotional. And the next one I'd like to share is The Fiery Furnace, and this is part 5. Wherefore the Lord God of Israel saith, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me for ever. But now the Lord saith, Be it far from me, for them that honour me I will honour, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. 1 Samuel 2 verse 30 These three Hebrews possess genuine sanctification. True Christian principle will not stop to weigh consequences. It does not ask, what will people think of me if I do this? Or how will it affect my worldly prospects if I do that? With the most intense longing, the children of God desire to know what He would have them do, that their works may glorify Him. The Lord has made ample provision that the hearts and lives of all His followers may be controlled by divine grace that they may be as burning and shining lights in the world. These faithful Hebrews possessed great natural ability. They had enjoyed the highest intellectual culture 
and now occupied a position of honor. But all this did not lead them to forget God. Their powers were yielded to the sanctifying influence of divine grace. By their steadfast integrity, they showed forth the praises of him who has called them out of darkness into his marvelous light. In their wonderful deliverance were displayed before that vast assembly the power and majesty of God. Jesus placed himself by their side in the fiery furnace and by the glory of his presence convinced the proud king of Babylon that it could be no other than the Son of God. The light of heaven had been shining forth from Daniel and his companions until all their associates understood the faith which ennobled their lives and beautified their characters. By the deliverance of his faithful servants, the Lord declares that he will take his stand with the oppressed and overthrow all earthly powers that would trample upon the authority of the God of heaven. And that is the end of those devotionals. I pray you all have a great day. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.